Hampshire. No one covers New Hampshire like we do. WMUR News 9 at 10 starts right now. A Danville man is in custody accused of killing his mother last week. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Monica Hernandez. I'm Jamie Staten in for Steve Botari. Our Ross Ketchke spoke with neighbors who have been looking for answers since that shooting. And Ross joins us live in Danville. Yeah, Jamie, Monica, that shooting happened here in Danville a whole six days ago. Neighbors looking for answers ever since. Now the son of the woman found dead inside that home is facing charges. My granddaughter had heard shots at this time of day that they thought that might have happened, so they were very scared. Neighbors on back road have been waiting nearly a week for answers after 59 year old Denise D'Amato Co was found shot and killed inside her home. Today, her son, James Co, was arrested in Revere, Massachusetts on a warrant for her murder. We were wondering what was going on. It's just so nice to now finally know that there's somebody been arrested. It makes us feel ah, that much more at ease. Prosecutors say the crime scene was extensive, an autopsy showing Co was shot multiple times. Investigators could be seen for days combing over the property, set back far from the street down a long dirt driveway. Carol Jelina lives just a few doors down. You can't see the house from the road, except in the wintertime when there's no leaves on the trees, and then you can barely see it. Didn't even know there was actually somebody living up there. It's been a worrying and disturbing six days for Jelina and others on this street. She says there is some comfort, though, in knowing that a suspect is now in custody. Now my granddaughter is much calmer. We, you can see it in her face when, when her mom told her. She's much more calm. And Co is set to be arraigned in Massachusetts on a charge of being a fugitive from justice. From there, he's expected to be extradited back here to New Hampshire, where he'll be charged with second-degree murder. Live in Danville, Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.